So like there's there's a lot That's of really right. cool like jokes and stuff that he does, but I agree. It it was a lot uh a lot yeah, better in terms of yeah, you know, pacing Jay, Jay wise. Really you know, spaced out if, that, if, so. if I pick up the One Piece manga right now, Jay is like a 5% commission. <laughs> 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 if, if that were the case, oh man, yes. I guess, <laughs> that would every, be awesome. Yep, that would be he's great. Trying to, every volume. <laughs> he's trying to get yeah, you to come bro. to seven hours. <laughs> Welcome to Saturday FM. Hello, everybody. How's it going? Uh, this is Saturday FM rebooted. <laughs> <laughs> this is, this is uh, I am Jay Odin, the creator of Hammer, and I'm here with uh, Raymond Brown and Adunze Ogugu. Uh, introduce yourself, guys. I'm Raymond Brown. Like uh, like Jay mentioned, I, uh, I'm the creator of uh, Bullet Eater. Um, I am also one of the uh, co-founders of Saturday AM. Uh, very, very happy to be doing this with these guys. Uh, we've known each other for a long time, and it's it's about time that we actually did something cool like this uh, together. So, I'm I'm uh, Adunze, aka White Manga, creator of Apple Black. I do the YouTube tutorials, you know, teaching people how to um, create manga if that's what you want to do, and what not, and what to do, and what not to do. And co-founder said they am. And you know, Jace forgot to mention also artist of you know not just Hammer but the the new Rick and Morty manga. We might touch on that a little. We might touch on that mm -hmm. a little bit as we as we move forward. But glad to have you guys here at Saturday FM. Hopefully, this is something that we'll continue to do and it's gonna get bigger and bigger. And then we do live streams and you know eventually grow to become a proper podcast. Yes, I am. Uh, I'm excited. I've been wanting to do this for a while. Um, unfortunately, you know, just a lot of the scheduling has been you know up and down so I'm, I'm glad that we can finally start this uh do you guys want to talk about the newest issue that just came out because it was pretty awesome it was summer of manga what is this issue 158 yeah is that what was, it was uh, yeah i think so uh, yeah it was uh yeah it was like, I'm, I'm trying i'm trying to pull it up right now so we we have like a, a crap ton of issues that's 158 yeah 158 yeah 158 yeah, and it man. has like a it has an insane. interview with uh, Webtoon inside of it, and so that's really cool. Hopefully, you guys will check it out and all the all the talented people in it. And maybe before we even maybe touch on uh, the series and some of manga, we just give our general thoughts. Uh, you know, maybe what stood out to us and stuff. Uh, maybe you can break down, and maybe Raymond might want to break down uh, what how how to get into some of manga. What is some of manga? How people can actually join side the am and the, you know the stuff that we're looking for uh yeah man uh, <clears throat> well it all starts uh with our magazines um you know for you guys that don't know um you know uh we we uh saturday AM is our uh, flagship uh digital magazine we do uh was three magazines now right we do saturday am saturday brunch and saturday pm uh each one of them have uh kind of their own unique content in as far as uh you know am is going to be your you know standard shonen type stories uh, obviously, with the, all of our stories, going to have a diverse twist on them. Uh, you're going to have PM, which is more of your sane, uh, more mature um, uh, manga stories. And then you also have uh, Saturday Brunch, which is going to be uh, more female-led uh, content, um, things of that nature. So, um, But uh, as far as those magazines go, uh, you can go to uh, the, uh, the Play Store and download our, our app for free. And when you download the app, it comes with uh, the latest issue uh, for free. So you can actually go in there and check out all the series and all that good stuff. Um, and as far as the magazine goes, uh, that's really the best place to start is with if you're trying, if you're a creator trying to engage with us, trying to you know join one of our contests or uh, maybe even submit uh, your own works. The magazine is the best place to start because we're all you know we always use the magazine to really talk about all the different things we have going on. Um, such as summer of manga yeah the yeah because you know we as you can imagine we get a lot of like messages of how to join sad they am um you know what the best moves are and basically we're currently working on a very streamlined process where you can really see one the the all the ways to join us and which of the ways are the best and then uh what's expected of you 
and what you can expect of us and just the overall experience that way everybody's on the everybody's on the same page and it's it'll be laid out perfectly because sometimes you lay you know how i got you know how things are guys you lay it out and sometimes people yes. they just don't they don't either don't read it or they miss it or it's easy to miss whatever the case may be or sometimes they don't care in some cases they just really want to send whatever they want to send to us you know but sometimes it's just interpreted in exactly. a completely different way exactly. <laughs> <laughs> they so read it's like what are you pictures, talking about this will have everything it'll be on the website but saturday dash am everything yes and so we're working on a way to where you guys are on the same page you know exactly what to expect from us you know what's expected of you and you'll know all the best ways to join Saturday AM, and that will be that will be coming. So you guys stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure make sure you follow uh, Saturday AM on all social, social media, media. Uh, so, so so that when that's, that's announced, you'll be able to check that out. Uh, but for now, you know, some of manga is just a it's a way for people to pitch their ideas to us every summer, and then we pick our favorite ideas out of the bunch and um, uh, the, our favorite pitches, and then we have an editor help them develop, you know, a couple pages, uh, and not, not not basically a one-shot, like a pilot, and, you know, hopefully you guys already know what a one-shot pilot is. Uh, basically a pilot, like a TV, sh uh, TV pilot episode, but in this case, we want to make sure this pilot is conclusive and satis has a satisfying ending, and that's kind of what makes it a one-shot in, in manga terms. And we know with the editor, we'll let you know what we're looking for. And you'd be able, you'd be given anywhere from like seven to thirty at best pages, and usually not even thirty. And you know, you know how it is, Raymond. You know, sometimes people want to, yeah, they want to do like a million pages. Yeah. But you know, you should be able to tell. You should be able to tell a story. And we want to, we're basically testing your skill. And sometimes for a lot of the creators, they're testing your skill for the first time. So it would be a way for you to test your skill with the limitations of ten pages. 15 pages and stuff. Well, not only is it testing your skill, it's also an entire experience on how to pitch a story to us or any company, um, you know, deadlines, uh, what's expected of you to, you know, meet those deadlines, what do you need uh, in terms of, like, um, character promotions and, you know, stuff like that. So I, I think Summer Manga is a very good um, experience for anybody out there that wants to, like, just get yeah. into this medium. Uh, a lot of people, actually, if, if you... If you do it and you actually realize, hey, you know, comic books are a lot more difficult to actually get into. Like, I can't, no, <laughs> I can't actually do all these pages in, you know, three weeks or, you know, four weeks or however much time we give you. And, you know, there's some people that just drop out because it's too overwhelming. There's a lot of other things that are going on in their life. So, yeah. it's a lot. It's a lot. You know, making comic books, it's, uh, you know, it, it's, 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 it's a, a lot. lot. And it's also it's not as rewarding, rewarding, especially in the beginning, beginning unless you're like, unless you're. you're Stephen King, King or something, something, you know what I mean, or, or Masa Masashi, Masashi or something <laughs> like that. So, so it's a, uh, yeah. It's well, another day. another reason why I like it is because, I mean, for everybody that wants to join Saturday AM, you know, or yeah. have their own book, I mean, you know, deadlines and everything else that you have to go through for Summer of Manga is just like such a a microcosm of what you are actually going to have to do in the future if you ever did get with us. So again, I I think Summer of Manga is a great uh, example or a great experience for people to get into. Well, you know, I, I've always heard the saying, like, you know, creativity, you know, kind of like if you trap creativity in a box, it, it can actually be, you know, more. It can actually you can yeah. actually get more out of it because uh, I know I know you guys could probably speak to this as well. But a lot of times when you have constraints like a page limit or, you know, or, uh, you know, a certain amount of time to do something, you get very creative very fast versus if you got the whole, you know, if you got the key, key, keys to the kingdom, you can yeah. do anything you want, whenever you want. You tend not to do much yeah, of anything. Sick. So. Uh, Summer Manga does a really good job of just like, you know, reining in all of the, all of your talent into one focused area into this one kind of short story. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like when you have like, like multiple options of like candy. If you have like hundreds, it's hard to pick one. If you have like three, you you it'll, it'll be much easier to pick. Um, hundred one one thousand percent. And then also we we get like a lot of entries more than all the previous years every year. So we'll probably get more next year. And so we. And, yeah, yeah, like four hundred songs was like four hundred. Yeah, it was it was a lot. Probably, and I know I know whatever it was like about four hundred, maybe three hundred and something. Then we are only picking, and I think next year we're even going to pick even less. So we this year I think I don't know how many we picked, but we picked about ten, and we we also pick writers too, so people who are just writers that way. You know, it's also testing 
their skill if they were ever going to write a light novel or something like that. Um, and also, you know, building, you know, potentially if we have a light novel line, wink, wink, we'll see, we'll see how that goes. But um, we have like 300 entries, maybe like we pick just a few of the ones that we really think we can work with based off of the creator, based off of them being able to follow directions, based off of their pitch and their talent, because there's a process of submitting for Summer of Manga where we also want to see your portfolio, what you're capable, capable of doing, if you actually care about this. And also if you're a crazy person on social media, you know, all, all the, all, everything is, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that matters. <laughs> that matters. Yes, it does. <laughs> yes, it does. Like, like, White, like White said, we're going to be working on some stuff to kind of lay out some clear guidelines as far as like what we look for and what are the best practices if you want to get with us. And that is definitely something important on the list is your behavior online. Not saying we're trying to tell you what to do. You know, some of you guys are grown people. You know, you do what you need to do. But, you know, if you don't social media tripping and, you know, and uh, showing bad habits and, you know, hanging out with bad actors... You know, you know, we, yeah, we if, if, you're, if you display things that are not in our mission statements, for instance, if you're, you know what I mean? And nine times out of ten, if you're that person, then why would you even want to be with us anyways? So, um, uh, it exactly. was, so we, there was a process to submit, and so we wanted to make sure the person is someone we can work with, and then the work is actually something that fits uh, and is in line with what we're doing. And that's one of the best ways to start with us. There are other ways... You know, very rarely you can reach out to us, and but yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes we reach out to someone extremely rarely. There's my, uh, you can be on our radar through March Art Madness, or there are many ways, but Summer Manga is one of the best ways because it's pretty streamlined. It is for comics specifically, and that's that's exactly what you want to do. So there's, there's a lot to factor in, but the bottom line is we will have a, a more clear, detailed thing for everybody to see, and that's coming soon. And some of manga is one of the best ways. And the thing is, from the whole thing, from the people who are chosen to be in some of manga, the, um, the you can say, finalists where they had, like, the best experience. We might even have something in the future where there we would then ha start to have a winner and prizes and stuff like that. But, again, we, we're detailing things, and that will be announced later. But the people in some of manga will also have the opportunity to be like we've done already in the past, where people would be published in the Saturday, Saturday AM annual. AM annual. Saturday annual, where they can have. Where's your book, Raymond? Miles, I'm saying, man. You guys see, told me see, see the, the people get to see. They get to see that Raymond, 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 Raymond is it's not cool. a team it's player, fine. man. If Raymond left, left now, and he wouldn't. He would have come back. He would have come back with a pizza. He would have come back with pizza. He would come back with pizza. <laughs> back with pizza. Wait, 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 wait Raymond. Right. I thought I thought you went up to get a book. I get it. Well, why are you holding the pizza? Nah. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. I was supposed to get the book. My bad. I got a snack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I got sidetracked. So the smell is so delicious. The yeah. creators <laughs> get to get to be published in a book worldwide for the first time. You can walk around saying you're a published manga artist, and you will get compensation, financial compensation. Yeah, Walmart, and Walmart. Barnes and Noble, you get paid for an actual gig, and obviously we'd be more in we'd be more engaged from an editorial standpoint for this one versus your own little thing um, with uh, you know your first test out. But for this, it'll be book. It'll be in print. You know, you get an opportunity that really you don't, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, guys, you don't get anywhere else except maybe Japan or something like that. Thing is, also with Saturday AM Annual, um, some of the stories aren't necessarily your stories. You know, maybe there's a few that are like uh, that author and that artist's actual story, but, you know, you or might be working on a different... Story. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you're getting paid, so I mean, you know, it's it's kind of like again another test of what it's like to be an actual manga comic book artist. So, well, even in Japan, you're not you don't just go and then you jump. You start doing your own things. Maybe you might be a manga assistant, or maybe you might be commissioned to do a completely different story, and you're just an artist, or whatever whatever the case may be. But you you're building towards something. And I think with us, at least, some of manga is the first outing of that. And in the future, if we get bigger, you know, we might have even more competitions or we might have all the competition we already have would, you know, be a little bit more grander. Maybe the prizes would be bigger and whatever the case may be. But we're still a small company. 
we don't have an anime, but we're getting there. And so we're doing the best we can in such a way where each year, each time, we're at each outing, we're providing better opportunities and doing things, better opportunities, just overall better experiences and doing things that currently do not exist at all anywhere, at least in, that I know of in the West, right? So that's, that's the goal. Who, who does it sound like Street Fighter? Sound like a Street Fighter game real quick. Hey, you caught that? I mean, you caught that? You it's caught like that? Ryu, was yeah. about, Ryu about to knock me out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> bad dude. No, you're the first person to catch that. Yeah, like I, it was Street Fighter 2, the character select when you. Oh, you, yeah, you come on now. That's I'm white one. Like one. Yeah. Don't play, don't play with me. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, man, I, I got to say something, man. I, I think I. Do you know who I am? You know who I am? Look, I know we know each other about 10 years. But I think I finally, I think I got respect for you oh, right okay. now before that. You see, it's, <laughs> yeah, see, it's, it's finally they, come. They, they, it's finally, finally come, right? Perfect. There's um, there's a lot of artists that are on our roster now that came through Summer of Manga. I know Fred Torniger, she's the one that created oh, nice. Gun Um Zafe, uh, the creator of uh, Orisha. Mm-hmm. Um, and th- there's a few more as well. I know, uh, what's his name? Jeffrey John Louise. Um, Morgan uh, Walker, like she also. Uh, yeah, like Morgan, Morgan Sophie, was. Right? I'm not I, sure. I don't think I was there. Morgan was Summer of Manga? No, no. I think. That's funny you mentioned that. I'll, I'll tell you. It's easy to. All, I could put it this way. Pretty much almost all, all of our creators that are, you know, doing, you know, that are working on things right now uh, came through Summer of Manga outside of, uh, you know, of course, you know, the, us, the founders. Uh, there was a handful of people that got uh, drafted, like, uh, I think Morgan. We just, like, Found her stuff and just reached out to her, I believe. That's what she told me. I was yeah, drafted. J- JR the Bard. Yeah, yeah. Jay was JR the Bard. We uh we met him at a convention, old yeah. school way too. He actually came to um we was at a uh, Anime NYC, and he came up to us and we had a uh, we had a booth there and we did uh por- portfolio reviews, and he literally came up there old school style. He had his big old you know huge portfolio, and he cracked out to open his portfolio and started showing his stuff. And it was it was it was amazing. I, I remember I was telling the story with Jr. You know, uh, Fred was supposed to review his his, uh, his portfolio, but he was busy talking to somebody. So Fred's like, "Hey, why don't you go do it? You know, this, this kid looks cool. Why don't you go review his portfolio?" Man, I opened that portfolio. I was like, "Man, this dude draw better than I do. Man, this is crazy." <laughs> but but I gotta stay professional. I gotta stay professional. I can't let him know that. I'm like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, you, you, yeah. Um, yeah, anatomy's pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, anatomy's yeah, 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 okay. You can improve. Not bad. You can improve. Yeah, you, you got to. You off to a good start, kid. Yeah, just just keep your nose clean. <laughs> yeah, young. Yeah, young blood. But, uh, you, you need to shade more. Oh, you need to shade more. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. I'm telling you, man. It was wild, man. So I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm actually looking forward to it when we when we do go over because once we do kind of you know get our you know uh, once we get our you know, guidelines kind of set up. We're going to share them with you guys and we're just going to go through them. We're just going to go through them and talk about them. And what's cool is this whole thing is that um, the whole reason that we're even doing this is because, you know, there are a lot of web uh, comic portal portals out there or places you can post your manga. And, you know, we noticed that there's not really a clear place, you know, a place, something you can strive for as far as, okay, I want to be the next, you know, popular comic on this website's, uh, you know, series list. What do I do? You know what I mean? So like you just kind of just put your stuff out there and just hope for the best and hope you get noticed one day. Whereas with us, you know, again, there's still a little bit of that, but at least you have things that you can say, okay, if I, you know, follow these uh, things that they suggest here on their guidelines page, I really have, and I, and I have talent and I'm easy to work with, you know, I really do have a shot of doing something with Saturday AM, whether it be, you know, having a series, uh, you know, uh, being an assistant, because we definitely have a big need for those. As far as uh, you know, helping with backgrounds, inking, and stuff like that, Tons, um, yeah. and even we even have uh, you know, uh, like I said, commissions where we can commission you to work with one of our vendors, and there'll be and big kind of projects. So, too. some of them, you know, are big big projects, big project, yes, big paying big projects paying too. Projects, yeah, yeah, big paying it's, projects. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, so it's like a pathway. Like um, if you work in retail, I used to work at Publix, and you know, there's always that uh, poster that says, "Hey, if you want to get from a bagger." 
to a CEO. <laughs> like, these are the bad Target ways. Want, want you. <laughs> and, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> So I mean, you know, yeah, I um, I, I'm really excited about uh, you know, these guidelines. And, as well. and I can't wait to come out. It's good to see. Like I said, we already have some success stories. There are people who are in this uh, summer of um, Saturday annual 2023, the summer summer um, Saturday annual 2024 as well. And then some of these new guys from the current summer of manga will be in uh, Saturday Annual 2025. Again, these are paid gigs where you're published. Nobody's offering these things willy nilly like this, right? And we're giving, uh, I, I appreciate that we're giving people opportunity. And then people in the past have their own books, like like you've mentioned with Fred, Fred Tornager, you know, Gun Hill is doing great, like uh, this kind of hippie touch on Norse mythology, but with its own uh, nice uh, Jotun lead. You know the Loki, the Thor. Everything is uh, everything is in there and is in color. You know, I'm like I'm, I'm proud to say that we were able to give those opportunities, and there's more to come. Uh, <laughs> Zayf, like you mentioned, is from there with Orsha, and there's some big. Pl- Wasn't um, Tony Dawkins also? In I, can't, I, can't, I, can't, I, I don't know. I, yeah, I think he, he came, came through some. See, he did, he yeah, so you got Tony Dawkins, and then Jeffrey. Titan Jeffrey King? did Mara the Martian, right? The, Jeffrey did Mara. Yeah. The, those those two guys are those two guys are good examples of uh you know you may your short story may not be what we actually you know decide to yeah, publish or know, or, yeah you know or, or the opportunity both of them had totally yeah. different stories than what actually um yeah that we published uh, Tony ended up doing uh, Titan King which he he still did uh, which is still his and then um, Jeffrey <clears throat> worked with uh, Fred for uh, Yellow Stringer and uh, and those right. also published books. Again, you know, you see the old stringer. Boom! I beat you to it. Hey. Hey. It's too late. Oh, hey. you gotta be quicker. No, I, be I, quicker. Okay. I have two books. There are two books in there. <laughs> so yeah, uh, and you know, I think as long as all, if all goes well, we'll continue to grow from there, and you know, even bigger and better things. If we if if we get an anime, it's game over. Um, let me see. Uh, Can't wait. Yeah, only a matter and, of time. You know the conversations have already been had, but we don't need to. We don't need to go into uh, any, yep. uh, much of that. But y'all wanna y'all have any thoughts on this year's uh, first summer of manga issue? I think the next one is also a summer of manga issue. Um, but with the latest one that just dropped, you guys have any thoughts? Well, I gotta say, man, I, I fell in love with the cover story. Uh, the uh, let me sure I get the name right. Hold on, it's a uh, it's a uh, Scarlet yeah. Vagabond. The one that's on the cover, yeah. I mean, I mean, obviously the art stellar. I mean, that's that's a given. But like, it gave me like Dragon Ball feels, not Dragon Ball Z, but actual right. Dragon Ball. Like back you know, back when uh, Goku yeah. was a little kid. Yeah, it was uh really well done. I mean, the panels were constructed really well. The character design was top notch. I mean, Chef's kiss. Who was the, who, the creator of that? Let me shout him out. Uh, let me, yeah, it's V. V. V-E-E. I forgot what their yes. their V-E-E. at on V-E-E. Twitter is. Let me see if I can pull that up. Yeah. V the lychee or lychee V I think or it's something v- like that. Yeah, lychee. V- I would I would say lychee lychee double at lychee double. So at lychee at the at l y c h e e d links to everything. Links to everybody if we can find them. We'll be in the uh, we'll be in the description. So we don't need to worry about that. Down so below. it's just V. <clears throat> And uh, yeah. yeah, I like I like what I saw as well. Um, if I was like being, and this is me being picky, being extra picky, is more of like you know just certain things with the gutter in between panels where the more vertical ones I think could be could have been thinner, and again st- extremely picky. And then maybe other panels where the characters are discussing, and it's just a lot of headshots, headshot, 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 headshot. headshot. You, you you guys know what I'm talking about. Where you you might want you might want to especially mm-hmm. if it's like a especially if it's like a headshot from the same angle. It's like headshot headshot head, or yeah or, or from the same angle. Yeah. Yeah, that was yeah that was my biggest gripe with uh, Scarlet Vagabond. But her art style, or uh, you know, their art style yeah, was like yeah, really yeah. really good. I liked it a lot. It reminded me a lot of actually uh, my yeah. Hero Academia, uh, kind of like um like his uh, sketches yeah, and stuff. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Agreed. But uh, my yeah. favorite one was the horror comic uh let me see if i yeah, can get the okay. name right uh, the she, curse that she, swallowed she goes by kamamori is a she there okay and then uh your your favorite one was the the horror the horror the one? curse yeah in my opinion that was my favorite one 
mainly because I don't know, like I guess the art style just reminded me of uh, Junji yeah. Ito. Um, you know, very like Uzumaki vibes. That's that's what I was getting from it. And uh, I don't know, I really like that one a lot. Yeah, really cool. I think, it, and also that one, the, the paneling, I don't really have any issues with that. And the the art style was, it was kind of scratchy, but you know, you did scratchy with like a purpose to it, if you will. So it looked, I I, I thought it, I thought it looked, yeah, yeah, yeah I thought style. it looked really good. It came out really well. Uh, there were some written stories in there. I think there's one by uh, Caleb IA I thought was uh, uh, started off interesting. I'm actually not done reading it, but it's basically one of those kind of like exorcist type stories. But I really like the dynamic between the the uh, two main characters a bit. Um, the that one was really cool. Did you guys have like it. a favorite art style? Oh yeah, out of these, I would say my favorite art style. Just because of like the shonenness of it was probably okay. Scarlet Vagabond, but uh, I really liked the cartooniness of oh. the Inn Garden. Um, you know that was very like very yeah. expressive. <laughs> like I I like that one a lot as well. Yeah, uh, same with Scarlet Vagabond. Just because you know I, I I'm just a sucker for anybody fighting with hands, <laughs> anybody with hands. I'm just yeah. That's the that's uh, the street the street fighter just, in you. Cassie's from uh, Raymond Raymond's yeah. from the streets. Yes, let's go. It's, 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 the mean streets of uh, yep. Castle Hay, yep. North yep. Carolina. Yeah. 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 <laughs> out, out the country, yeah. out the country. Uh, but I will say, Oliver mentioned though, is this the is the horror one, Jay? The one called uh, no, Caitlin no, no, Sanctuary? That's, that's not the horror one. That's, oh, no. uh, uh, that's it's no. a different. One. I think oh. this one was where there was like a. It's the yeah. very last one. The, the, the curse oh, that okay, swallowed Kamamori. Oh, okay, the curse yeah. that swallowed uh, uh, yeah. Kamamori. Yeah. Okay, I liked. The Caton Sanctuary. I thought that, um, yeah, it was the same gripe that they had with the Scarlet Vagabond with uh, the reusing of, like a lot of uh, face shots. And yeah, yeah. It, it was like the same angle. But I mean, art style wise, I think that they would be really, really good at just drawing like a lot yeah. of illustrations. I, yeah. um, you yeah. know, they, they were very. I think, I think very that's good kind of that. a. I, that, that's the thing. I mean, I'm going to try to organize my thoughts here, but I think that's kind of a. That's one of the penalties of being a new creator that's really good at art, that's really good at drawing. Because you can lean so heavy into your, you know, your art style, you don't have to take a lot of chances. Whereas you have other people like, uh, gosh, I'm trying to think of an artist right now. But like, if, if they're not as skilled, they have to go over and beyond as far as the paneling goes. You know, like taking more risks, like you know, maybe having panel breaks or having, you know, uh, like a lot of uh, foreshortening shots and things like that. Like, I feel like, you know, if you can like marry the two, like, you know, if you can be that good of an artist like these guys are. And still yeah. take chances. I mean, it's a win-win versus just being because because like I see what you guys are talking about as far as the uh, this the you know all the panels are really yeah. played it safe. All the panels really played it safe, and it's cool because they draw so well. But if they didn't, yeah. that'd be a problem. Yeah. You know. And then the, I'm looking at the uh, Caden Sanctuary, the art style. I thought the art style, the toning, all of that looks generally generally great. But again, maybe a, a few things with like. Again, this is me. This is picky me, right? It's one of those things where remember uh, Raymond when we first started, and uh, we had some self-published books, and you know we had there was like a lot of stuff with the formatting that you need to know. So I'm I, I have I, I walk around mm -hmm. with trauma now. So anytime I see pages, anytime I anytime <laughs> I see pages, there's just that I know. Oh man, you 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 you're you're waiting for a headache later. I I, tr I try to save them Dude. in the beginning. You know what I mean? Quick history lesson: the back when we did our first tanks, shoot, yeah. that was me and you pretty yeah. much designed yeah. them, right? We designed uh, between the both of us, we designed all of our old uh, graphic yeah. novels from yeah. years ago. And like you said, whew, you know, it was rough. E even the best of us, it was rough. But some people were, I won't mention any names. Was yeah. even hey, look, look, yeah. okay, Jay, yeah. okay. <laughs> see, if, you, if you if you open, I'm a real if fan, you open guys. <laughs> black ones, right? You can see the black the black bars. Number one, yep. And people people were like, oh man, that's stylistic. That's cool. That's cool. Maybe 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 the edges of my book should be black too. Maybe he did it because of apple black. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. What what you said? Yeah, mm -hmm. sure yeah, let's, yeah, let's that, go with yep. that. How do you know? <laughs> yep. That's that's why. Figure me out. That's why you got me. Not knowing is because you know all the formatting issues that we had to do because later versions I ended up removing it once I was able to fix it properly. So when I see uh, stuff that could easily, you know, just avoid, then you know I, I usually point it out. So with the with the 
Caton Sanctuary, the art style is great. The the setting is great. Even the paneling, for the most part, is actually, you know, pretty okay. But there's, there's some case, there's some cases where you know this panel could have been bigger than that one, or you could tell that they were trying to, they had a page limit, so they had to, you know, they had more panels in a page than uh, than maybe they normally would have. Or, uh, um, mm -hmm. but the art itself, the toning itself, I think is uh, pretty solid. And, you know, I, I think they had an artist for this. So it's like an artist and a writer. Um, it's not, yeah, I think it was an artist. Oh, and a writer. Nice. I don't think it was one person. But overall, I think the, the, that had potential. And there's going to be, they were, we're working on a video that's, that's specific for some of manga. So even if we didn't touch on everything right here, we're definitely going to touch on it in a future video that kind of goes through all the uh, series in a little bit more detail and all the, the written stories in a little bit more detail for all like all the stories. But I just wanted to touch on them and get brief thoughts from, from you guys and what you guys thought. This is where you should subscribe and keep an eye out for that next video. So just keep an eye out. Also, put a like on this video if you guys like this. You guys so can also just go watch, uh, go read it right now. Read it if you guys are, if you guys haven't read the yeah. issue, go read it, go read all the entries. I think, I, I am I crazy? I think this is, maybe not by much, but this might be the best year, best issue, best summer of manga issue. I would say so, I would say so. Of group, a group of creators. Normally, it's kind of like a, a sliding scale where you have somebody that you have like two or three people that are really good. Yeah. And everybody else okay. Yeah, this, know, one's this one's like everybody. Like, everybody, right I there. think everybody did well. Every 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 entry did yeah. well. Like so, a lot of these entries, if they were in like previous years, especially like the very very early years, then you know they they, they would yeah. be standing out. But you know, back in back back in those days, maybe just a couple, just a few, like you mentioned, maybe Zayf stood out in that year. Uh, and maybe one or two others, and then Jeffrey, or one or two others. I did like last year's Summer of Manga, 151. That one was very, yeah. very good as well. There were a lot of, uh, you know, nice ones. But, I mean, for everybody out there, you can go read that. I think that's still free on our yeah, Last year's Summer of Manga? Yeah, last it's still free on the app, so. I, I think so. I, aren't all Summer of Mangas free, or no, is it no, just... No, I don't think so. No. Okay. But you, subscribe. But you can subscribe because because the way the yes. app works is that you get the three latest issues for free. So when another issue comes off, you know when two more issues come, this one yeah. will fall off, and so vice you can versa. do that for a Saturday you know. a.m. Saturday p.m. brunch, and then we also have like some standard free issues in there, like the set the starter guide that kind of also explain explains a lot yep. of the stuff Saturday Saturday a.m. resist. That touches on Saturday Wars, which again, that's coming. You know, you you guys you guys should stay tuned for that. So, like I said, the few a future Saturday Wars, uh, not Saturday Wars, a Saturday Summer of Manga issue breakdown video is coming, and hopefully you guys stay tuned for that. That should be fun. I think they'll go through each each installment, each series, each one shot pilot thing, uh, in that video. Aside from that, I think the last thing we wanted to talk about, normally we do more of these videos, we'll be taking questions from you guys, uh, especially once we transition from what it is right now to maybe live streams. But for now, we can't leave without talking about what, you know, what everybody's talking about. One Piece. Jay, Jay, this is, this is where you take lead. Because <laughs> this is this is, this, this is, this is yours. This is yours. This is my end. Because <laughs> I don't think I've watched the One Piece episode in ten years. Okay, so all right, let me let me first just say uh, yes, I love One Piece. Um, you know, I'm I'm more of a manga reader, and I you know occasionally go in to watch a few episodes in the anime. More like watching scenes, and like oh wow, the animation out here was uh, you know beautiful and all that. Which I'll touch on this uh, episode, but. Uh, just for some backstory, because I know, uh, you know, Raymond no, <laughs> didn't understand what was going on. Well, he'll talk in a few seconds. But uh, <laughs> and also for you, too, White, because like you said, you haven't um, been keeping up with it. Um, what Gear 5 is, is the next transformation. You don't need to explain. You, don't need to explain uh, you know, the next that. gear. <laughs> for real. No. Hey, look. It's look. like. But if, like, I mean, I just, just to let you guys one, know. Two and three. It's like, oh. Gear five? What's that? There's What's two, that? three, yes. and four. No, bro, that's, no. 
Like this, this is not. I mean, I, I I was gonna save this for later, but this is not the episode. If you got a friend that know, that hadn't watched One Piece before, this is not the episode for them to do that on because they're gonna be like, <laughs> "What is going on?" Here? All I was saying is that this particular gear allows yeah. Luffy, the main character, uh, to basically make everything around him kind of rubbery, and it like gives him the freedom to do whatever he wants. So because of that. Some of the visuals might seem like what's like, going on. Like I don't, Tunes, <laughs> I don't like understand Bugs Bunny what this and is. And Tom and Jerry. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Like he literally becomes a cartoon. Um, so anyway, talking about the episode, I very much so enjoyed um, the Gear Fifth parts of that episode. I, uh, you know, it was kind of slow. Uh, Grand Line Review. He actually does like really good um, like videos on all this other stuff, and he was talking about. The episode and how it was very slow in the middle because um you know it had nothing to do with luffy per se uh but once they got into the action it was like really really good and i i totally agree um i will say that the animation there were a few parts that if i had not read the manga i would be very confused yeah. as to what happened um mainly because like there were a lot of like camera angles it was like moving very quickly and although it made it look very cool, um, you know, there were still just some parts that were kind of confusing. So I can understand, you know, Raymond's next point <laughs> when, when he talks about this. But uh, I can understand if some people were just kind of like, you know, taken aback, yeah. like what's going on. But ultimately, I, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was very cool. Um, and yeah, I, I thought there's, there's, I thought there's, it was because I saw you know, Twitter is not gonna let you breathe. You know, there there was clips all over the place. And then there was like there was this clip there was this clip yeah. where obviously the animation is cool and you know dynamic and we wish you know what I mean, uh, but there was like there was like a, at least like five seconds in there where I don't know if y'all have seen Spider Verse you know, there was there was a part in Spider Verse where it was just there was just so much I was like what yeah I know what you're talking about and so. I, I got a little bit of that. I got a little bit of the Tom and Jerry stuff. Um, I guess this is kind of like a, some kind of super rubbery, happy, joyful Luffy. Um, uh, but yes. joy, joy, joy boy, boy. joy That's boy. Sad. Apparently, and I heard that they <laughs> crashed the it crashed Crunchyroll, Crunchyroll, and they they spent how many millions on this <laughs> oh, episode? Snap. So it's rumored to be one million. I thought it was three million. That's I thought that's what I heard. But yeah, it's rumored to be more than one million dollars on these next few oh, episodes yeah. uh yeah. and i know like every every episode is usually between eighty thousand to a hundred thousand which is another reason why when everybody is like hey you guys should have yeah, an anime like about. you know you don't know how much it, yeah. it costs yeah, per like, episode yeah. <laughs> yeah, you but like, yeah like, okay. like, hey man have you have you have you thought about making your own anime have you thought about it yeah. Cause Cause if you it, did, that's a good. That's a good idea. You guys be, might be popular. That's a good idea. Good. I, yeah. I thought about that anime. before you. You've never thought about that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, Raymond. Mind. Now it's your, now get us canceled. All right. Okay. <laughs> get us canceled, it probably ain't gonna be that serious, but actually, you know, I'm gonna behave because you know I got a book coming out one of these days, so I gotta be nice. <laughs> so I, y'all, y'all ain't gonna cancel Bully Eater, not like that, no sir. Uh, well, I guess for me, you know, to me, this was the equivalent of like the Pain versus Naruto episode. Remember that one where it was kind of weird looking? It was like off model, like, but it was so, you know. So I get it was kind of like that for me. It was kind of like I was like, okay, um, you know, it, it was done better than that. I will say that much. But uh, I mean. I'll be honest with you. I kind of wish it did more because a lot of it was flashbacks. At least the clip that I saw, it was a lot of flashbacks. I'm like, dude, I, we already saw this. Like, I don't even watch One Piece, and I know that, uh, you know, the first time he fought Kaido was it that somebody jumped in, right? Is that what the story was? Somebody jumped in and kind of like grabbed his arm and messed him up. So, uh, right before he turns into Gear Five, he has to die, and that was like the the fight or that was the blow that um. There's like a CP zero agent that came and like you know stopped him and then right. Kaido killed him awesome. and then yeah so I totally agree they shouldn't have had as many flashbacks but I mean yeah, totally, they gotta I was about to say, they this, gotta save money they is, just spent a million dollars <laughs> on an episode so but they, yeah, I don't know like, I felt like they were just like kind of placed in a bad spot like I mean like God, I mean I get that you want to do the slow reveal you know you show Luffy's like arm and then you show his face I mean his teeth and then you show I'm like but God dog man did they throw that plus throwing in the uh, the flashbacks was a bit much, but uh, you gotta you know, build hype, Raymond. You gotta build hype. 
You gotta build that. <laughs> I, I, That's how you do it. That's how you do it. I remember, I I guess guess so. I remember uh, yeah, for real. Episodes where it's, it's pretty much like the episode is like, uh, whatever this the, the sound is. Then they do the intro. They 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 gotta do the intro, the op. Then they'll do they'll take a couple seconds to tell you what the episode is. <laughs> then they'll. You know, they, they, no, they'll, they'll do a they, recap. They'll, 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 they'll do, do a recap. Like five minutes. They'll oh, yeah. Recap. yeah. Section. Tell you what the episode yeah. is. Then it will then, yeah. even this week, it will then start like maybe the few seconds is, that is starting is the last few seconds we've already seen from the last one where, where oh, Luffy, yeah, no Luffy squeezes his hand and his piss and it's to be continued. And then he will come here, yeah. he'll squeeze <laughs> his hand, yes. and then maybe he'll throw one punch and then it's over. It's over. It's over. You gotta come back yeah. Yeah, next but week. That's my, that's, I next guess that's week. my. <laughs> but that's my point, though. It wasn't a lot. He did. I mean, after everything that happened, he really did. I mean, I guess there's go the next episode or whatever. But he didn't do a lot of fighting. Like he basically, like I remember him doing his one little piece. You know, he like you know piece dude up. Uh, I remember yeah. him grabbing and then him, then swing you know him, and mean? like do like. But a he didn't key, really like do a much fighting. Slam, yeah. Loki Hulk slam thing. Because the, the gold episode... standard, the gold standard is that uh, mo uh, moderate fight in Naruto. That's the gold standard. That I'm, like that I'm like is like that was right pretty now. awesome episode. Okay, I have to send you the clip, but like like uh, Madara uh, Uchiha, he's fighting the entire like the entire war. Uh, is, it, is, it, is, it, is, it, is it is it again? Just, yeah, Twitter will not let awesome. you rest. Is it the one where he's like when he lands, he's like looking left, right, center, looking all over the place? <laughs> yes, that one. You yeah. seen it? Yeah, you yeah. seen it? Yeah, and he's literally buying yeah. everyone. Like that right there. Awesome. Like I, I don't like everything you said. I, I, it's totally true as far as budget. But they didn't give a darn about the budget in that fight scene. They just went for it. They, it was like two minutes of yeah. that. Two or three minutes what, of just him piecing you... people up. The That's next crazy. episode is supposed to be a lot more fighting. I'm yeah. really looking forward to that. Um, hopefully, there's no, like, I don't know, break yeah, in between they're, 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 with the manga like right now. 30 minutes but... is just <laughs> Sanji cook, cooking. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, hey, this is the new Dragon Ball Z. I mean, you know, instead of screaming, yeah, you know, they got to yeah. show, you true. know, a bunch of... Yeah, flashbacks. Or they come out with a new intro, and the intro is like 15 minutes long. This would be a perfect time for a new One Piece intro. What would you guys say are... Where would you rank this transformation when it comes to anime transformations? And what would you say your favorite is? How about you go, White? Even though I'm behind on a lot of anime, I still... Like, there's a lot of things that don't make sense or make the most sense about Bleach. But there was a period. And, they, like, even to, even to this day, like, when it comes to hype anime, like, animation, hype, transformations, power-ups, Bleach, there's, like, a, there's like a hollow Ichigo when he fought, when was fighting with Yora. Mm, I don't think anything beats that. Not even, not even the, the, the later one where he... Defeats Eisen. That one, the Liu Kuro one. I don't think anything beats that. Like so far, so far in animation that I can think of, there might be, there might be. But I'm just saying, I, 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 that that one's up there for me. But I know there's some people that have there's a couple of Naruto transformations and there's you know some uh, uh, Hunter Hunter and there's there there have been a couple you know. But uh, without going thinking too deeply, maybe there is one that I think is better. But without thinking too deeply, I I know that 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 Ichigo one was high up there. But um, did you guys even like the the this Gear Five? I <laughs> I loved it. I thought it was really cool. Um, I would say, it, it. I mean, in terms of the story, I think that it's definitely one of the best uh, types of you know transformations. But if I had to pick another one, I really liked Gone. Um, you know, with. You know, Hunter Hunter, that was that was really cool. I'm always the OG Super Saiyan. You know, I, you know, Krillin dying and then him just ah! <laughs> like that was just it's just classic to me. Um, I will say something that sounds kind of ridiculous, but uh, I really also liked Roroni Kenshin and his transformation where he just turned his, you know, oh, he just yeah. flipped his him. sword. No, <laughs> and then he's like, hey, I'm gonna. He was like evil, but not evil. Oh, like, so you know so what I'm talking about? Basically, yeah, that was that was really cool too. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not in his mind. Yeah, transformation in his mind. Yeah, kind of transformation. I guess that's what I mean. That's what I mean. Yeah, it was kind of power up. I mean, you know, his his sword was dull and now it's sharp. Well, I mean, you know, that's it's the way they drew him though. Like they they would make him like they would make everything go dark, like right, and then they draw him like these shades of purple, but his eyes would be bright yellow, and it's like, oh man, that was so hot. That was so tight. I loved it. Yeah. 
Do you have a? Yeah. Oh yeah, Rayman. 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 You've not, you've not, you've not canceled. You've yeah, not canceled I mean, Jay pretty much stole my. <laughs> no, good, 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 good. This is only the first episode. Uh, yeah, I, Jay took a lot of my thunder. Yeah, like Dragon Ball, because for me, the transformation it goes a little bit deeper than just like how cool it looked, right? It's also like what was I doing when it happened, <laughs> right? Because like Dragon Ball yeah. is my favorite, right? I remember because anybody that's I don't know, probably Jay, uh, maybe from thirty up will remember this, but like on Toonami when they used to play Dragon Ball Z, you know what happened was they didn't have enough material, so they would play all the way up to the Namek uh, saga, and then start all over again, and then play all the episodes back up, you know. So we went years without any new Dragon Ball content. We just kept watching the same stuff over and over and over again. But when that thing finally passed the the breaking point to the point where it got to the Super Saiyan stuff, and we saw that fool transform. Psh, Man, man, we were done for. I was in high school. I knew grown men that were working like labor jobs that were like talking about it. I mean, everybody was talking about him to go on Super Saiyan. I mean, it was it was yeah. a magical time. It, was, it really was. was. And yeah, something. Uh, and you know, I think it's the same thing like I mentioned with the Ichigo thing, where even even the later transformations, I, like those those are cool. So I think Bleach does a really good job, like just being hype and caring about the hype and caring all these captains and if a captain that oh, who's, who's going to be the next cap you can even in the all show manga you want to see the characters grow you see, you see them level up oh you're a chunin oh now you're a Jonin. oh this is the blah blah you care about that growth and i think bleach is one of those that does a good job about it and it's also that 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 uh ichigo yukiora which i think he also died and had to come back type thing so i think that that was also one of those moments that's like peak bleach era time so that i get the dragon ball stuff but you 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 believe like oh i said i'm like 10 years behind naruto 10 years behind one piece i'm like 30 30 years behind, 20 years behind dragon ball <laughs> well you made me think of something uh this is a question for jay that i that i really do have so okay this is what i'm thinking about i do not I cannot go from uh, One Piece from the beginning. I tried. Uh, my son got into it recently, and I tried to watch episodes with him, the early episodes. It was tough. It was real tough. So saying you ain't got the stamina to, you know, start from the beginning, is could you start at an arc, like say the Wano arc, and just keep it going from there and so, still get a good experience? So technically, you could, you could just start at any beginning arc. I mean, you know, you might be kind of lost, but I mean, what I would recommend, I, so personally, I really liked the East Blue arc. Like, you know, I'm, I'm actually rewatching it on Netflix while I draw just to, you know, have something on in the background. But um, what I would say is there are like movies that are like summaries. So like the uh, episode of East Blue, it's kind of like all of the arcs in an hour and a half movie oh, okay. um you know there's an episode of skypea uh episode of alabasta so i mean that way you don't actually have to watch i don't know mm. hundreds of episodes you could just watch you know the movies and you get oh, a wait, pretty so nice the, recap wait 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 the, um, the one piece movies just condense the arcs there there are some movies there are some like i think it was like a, a tv special yeah. i don't think it was an actual movie but the tv special episode of east blue it's like all four or five arcs like you know just condensing in an hour and a half long movie i just got done watching it that was the first time i ever watched it but i had heard about it and i know that they did the same thing for skypea alabasta there's a tony tony chopper one which they actually kind of like you know add some more elements into it just yeah, to make it a little bit more entertaining they need to advertise um, that stuff because a lot of a lot they do yeah, a lot of a I, lot I'm, of people for one yeah. piece that's the thing it's like what a thousand apple one million episodes no but so if they if they there's a lot of episodes not only that but also the animation in the yeah, beginning so just, because it's, well, huh? it's, it's, so many years ago, it's not right? good so if they if they like advertise that i think a lot of people it'll make it easier for people to get into one piece because even though back then i like one like i still liked one piece back then but you know what i mean because when i when i started one, watching one piece it was already like hundreds of episodes in you know so the the animation still looks very old but once you you take into consideration how old it is, even then there's still a lot of like shonen things that did well. Like like I still like One Piece is still top tier stuff, right? But um, mm -hmm. it's just we're in we're in different times. But I think it's still enjoyable. And the main thing is not necessarily the stories or the art's not good. So I think because all of those I think are still good. The issue is just it's overwhelming to get into. Like to me, I've, I'm like. 10 years behind it's overwhelming for me because i i feel like i, I have to start from scratch because i've forgotten so much 
You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and, and somebody like me, I'm a, uh, I'm a cotton annuity king, man. Like I love, I, I love lore. Like me, I love, I love being able to piece stuff like that because it's really interesting to see when you look on the forum for one piece and you see how the people like were talking about like joy boy, I guess joy boy was a thing they talked about chapters ago, you know? So all that stuff is pretty cool. And I want to participate in that kind of thing, at least know yeah. about it to a degree, but it's like, ugh, I don't know if I can go that far back. To everybody that I've gotten one piece into, uh, you know, I've told them, hey, you know, you're going to start this, and you're going to hate it up until you get to R long. <laughs> just just hang in there because I promise you it gets better. And then eventually they get to Alabasta and they're like, all right, I really like this. And then I'm like, all right, I'm telling you, it's just going to get better and better. But the thing is, is that, like you said, it's overwhelming. Like you see like this gigantic mountain yeah. of, you know, content. Uh, you know, this is why I never recommend the anime. Because what? there's just too much filler and like animation is not always too good. Not to say, uh, I personally would say you should read the manga because it's just like the straight to the source one and two. Like the art is eons better. <laughs> so yeah. just like, just go for the, just read the yeah. manga if you can. However, if you want to watch the anime, I would totally recommend those movies, yeah. uh, the recaps. Like that is yeah. probably the best way to get the gist of yeah. what you need to have to like enjoy yeah. the rest in the future. So I got two things. First thing. Why do I picture Jay as like the pyramid scheme guy in, in like Starbucks? Like, actually, if, hey, you keep your options open to watch an anime, <laughs> and he has like a pamphlet <laughs> full of full of One Piece stuff. <laughs> and, and second, though, I'm with Jay on the manga part because, like, honestly, like there were parts of One Piece the the for me personally, the art was pristine. Like when they were in the, um, gosh, I think it was when they. I think when they first when when uh, Usopp and uh, Luffy were fighting each other, or or, or or that whole that man that art it was clean, you know it was really you can see everything. Like I, today, I feel like his panels are kind of messy, but like back then it was everything was very clear and you could see everything. Yeah, you know, uh, I, I think the like... art was way better back then. I, I agree that it was a lot more spaced out. It, it was a lot more, um, you know, easier yeah. to see, obviously. But nowadays. I think that there's still so much like inside of Oda's brain that he's like, I can't, I, I physically don't have enough time <laughs> to tell you guys everything. So like, that's why he crams in a lot of detail and like to everybody that really like takes the time to look at every panel, like it's, it's worth it because there's a lot of things that he'll have in the back. There was one, I think it was like a two page stretch where he shows Luffy like uh, in the background, like he digs up his nose, gets a booger, and he puts it on Usopp's arm. And you see this on his arm, like it's just all in the background though. But you wouldn't notice this unless you're actually like looking at everything. So like there's there's a lot That's of really right. cool like jokes and stuff that he does. But I agree, it it was a lot uh, a lot better yeah, in terms yeah. of you know, pacing wise. Jay's really on you know, the out if, that, if, so. if I pick up the One Piece manga right now, Jay gets like a five percent commission. <laughs> 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 if, if that were the case, oh man, yes, I guess, <laughs> every, that would every, be awesome. Yep, that would be he's great. Trying every, to, every volume, <laughs> he's trying to get yeah, you to come bro. to seven hours. <laughs> <laughs> it's like yes, Jay knows. Jay knows exactly how many One Piece characters exist right now. It's <laughs> too many to count, man. No. Uh, <laughs> You pronounce his name wrong. Mm -hmm. You pronounce his name yeah, wrong. You walk, you walk in, it's a cult. <laughs> yeah, it's a, you, you, you see the Zoro, Zoro statue as you walk in and shit. So yeah, yeah. That, that, that'd be. Him. Yeah, everybody got their little, they got their little one piece of uh, Bibles and they say, all right, please turn to uh, uh, volume one, chapter three of. Uh... <laughs> but yeah, all 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 of that is I... solid. I saw something some uh, a while ago. They said um, if you put all of the books in one piece like into one gigantic book it would be like i don't know it was it was like really really big <laughs> it was yeah. like yeah. however yeah. many pages how i can't you, even think how of would it. you flip it was a lot. i couldn't even imagine yeah you can't even flip the thing yeah you would you'd have to book. read it standing up it wouldn't yeah. even it would, <laughs> have, to, it would, have, to, it would have to be like a flip open, book bro. It, it, it would be like you you really you literally you physically couldn't do it i don't think like you would because if you got in the middle of the book exactly. the book would just tear in half so there's no you know what i mean not, it's not even possible just do it digital that's why it digital exists maybe or maybe read it digitally or something like that yeah. so that's that's that i mean well, i'll i'll get back i plan on getting back into all these series and then i'll research uh how best to do it i want to do the same thing for jojo uh before i watched full metal i was confused do i watch full metal do i watch brotherhood and i everybody said brotherhood so i just did brotherhood and then that was that was that was good. So eventually I'll get into it, but it's just like 
I'm waiting for the thing to end. It doesn't want to end, bro. It doesn't want to end, <laughs> yeah. Bro. Yeah. I no, I I get that. I get that. Just I, I that's one reason why um, you know, this is kind of like segueing it, but uh there's a TV show called The Boys and I waited for a very long time to actually start watching that. I just got done binging yeah. all three seasons. But if I had to wait I mean, now I have to wait for season yeah. four. <laughs> right. so that that kind of sucks. But I mean, like I, yeah, the, I, I understand yeah, if you want to wait until it just the finished. Also, the boys is also uh, also top tier. You man. know, hopefully one day we'll get we'll get our animes out before before transition. I wanted to know what, what are the transformations in your your series? You guys are working on stuff like what what are the first? What are the projects? I know, Ramy, you did something recently for Bleeder. And then Jay, you've been doing some stuff as well for Hammer. So, what are the transformation stuff going on there? Mm, well, I did a short story inside of next year's uh, annual uh, for Bullet Eater. So, it's 20 page, one shot, you know, just a one and done story. Uh, there's no real transformations in that one. Well, just in general, uh, just in general, you know, just in general. I don't really have uh, any plans. It's, it's kind of like you said with the book. It's kind of like you said with the Apple Black book. You know, it was like one time I drew him, uh, I, I drew him like he literally got hurt. And he wrapped his hand oh, up like, it's like he was fighting somebody. Yeah. And he got all cut up. And then Fred was like, "Hey man, he needs to keep the bandages." And it was like, "Okay." So now he got bandages. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. It was that yeah. simple, yeah. you know. Okay. It was okay. that simple. Uh, but as far as transformation goes, I mean, I do have one uh, reveal that I think I want to try. I think it'll be pretty cool. It'll be different, you know. It's not, you know, Sal's ability just to kind of throw it out there. It's not really his abilities won't be for him. Yeah. I'll put it that way. So if you ever play, I'm a yeah. big RPG head. So I, I love RPGs. So uh, Asal wouldn't necessarily be your, uh, you know, your your knight. He'd be more the guy that yeah. that's going to buff you, you know, it, buff people. You, you know what? I, I, I had this funny scene, especially since we're doing all the Saturday War stuff, right? I had this funny scene where it did just now, right? Everybody, all the other characters are doing like transformation, doing something, transformation. <laughs> That's right. You see, you see, you see, you see, you see, Santa, Santa be floating, doing whatever. That'd be awesome. Cast maybe do some, do some robotic, robotic, <laughs> whatever. Get uh, uh what stud all, all metal, full metal stud, all this stuff, Dayless bond, yeah. all everything. You see, each each time you cut to, you cut to yourself. <laughs> Hold up, I'm almost ready. Hold on. Hold on. I'm almost, guys. That was just Plus five is attack points, I promise that you. That <laughs> that 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 someone <laughs> asked him, like, hey, wait, wait, what's, what, what's your, what's your, what, what do you transform? It's like, my bandages? They're, 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 they're orange. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> they're orange? They're, they're orange. orange. It's they're like, orange before bandages. they were just regular bandages, but now this one's an orange, bro. Let's go. <laughs> so what do they do? What do they do? Nothing. These hands. <laughs> These hands. <laughs> <laughs> they make me more aerodynamic when I fight. <laughs> <laughs> they're, more, they're, more, they're more fashion. They're, they're more fashion of safety. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> they protect my hands from my massive blows. That's hilarious, bro. So, That's hilarious. if I had to think yeah. of a transformation uh, for Stud, I mean, there's full metal, um, but. He mainly has uh, like hammer transformations, uh, you know, not like uh, a full yeah. body. Yeah, you know, yeah, I'm a Super yeah, Saiyan yeah, yeah, hammer yeah. now, but like he has like hammer transformations. Yeah, they that's going to be coming up like you uh, and with the Rurouni Kenshin and stuff like that. Stuff like that, but I mean, there's also there's one more like it's more I guess of of a summon. Um, you know, I've been like trying to like hint at certain summons like throughout the entire books. So, uh, you know, Stud eventually gets his own version of a summon, and that'll be a pretty cool yeah, that'd be um, <clears throat> yeah, that'd be reveal. So, that'd be um, yeah. I mean, for me, I mean, I've been teasing mine for years, and at least there, at least this this version of it, and that will be out in the the fourth volume, Alpha Black Volume Four, and I think you'll get people get to see some really cool, really cool, fun stuff. It's very Doctor Manhattan inspired, but also all the shonen. Trans like shonen energy type st stuff in inspired with that with the Rotus Sano and a Rotus kind of being a also kind of being a woman in a way in a way sort of the same way Siri is a woman, which is not really but you 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 you, you, you get what I mean and then it's like sorcery stuff and so I think it'll be interesting very godlike and there's a lot obviously there's a lot more mystery 
uh, tied to it, and it's not one of straightforward things. Somebody let me in, uh, left the note that they like the fact that it's <clears throat> it's a different gender ish, depending on how you look at it, and uh, compared to other shonen heroes and like that, the inner demon thing within them and stuff like that. But a lot of the mystery tied to I think some interesting stuff, and I hope everybody enjoys enjoys it. Like I think, especially in Volume Four, I probably wrote the darkest scene I've ever written in uh in volume four so i'm uh, um looking forward to that how's your therapy classes going nah, on i've, I'm, I've always been that dark person i don't need i don't need therapy i'm fine <laughs> no 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 nobody knows everybody, everybody just sees uh, the hey it's white monkey here da, da, da. once the cameras come like Hello, to your sorry, room, my good friend. <laughs> yeah, I'm, 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 I'm in the corner of the shower, and like it's the, the shower is just going on. Like, <laughs> yeah, so therapy, therapy can't do nothing. It's, it's 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 all over. Yeah, sometimes I've been doing too 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 many dark scenes, and some dark scenes where I'm I. I because our distributor Quarto is a it's pretty light company. <laughs> it's a pretty light company, right? So yeah. I think that the Avlag Volume Four is. It, it could be in PM. Same here. Uh, there's a there's a scene coming up that was in the magazine. Um, you know, a lot of people liked that scene with Stud and King Elefante, yeah. the climax of that fight. And uh, I'm I'm kind of wondering if it was a little bit too. Hey, whatever. Brutal. <laughs> but yeah, I think everybody will like it. So I even have a, another scene because remember, uh, Volume One, <clears throat> you got Naomi kind of like in the jacuzzi, right? And obviously, you know, it's oh, like hey, yeah. man, this is thirteen, and 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 it and it's Where and it's safe, censored. It, it's censored. It's not. It's nothing crazy. All these shonen series, Dragon Ball is done way worse. Naruto is done way worse. You know what I mean? But still, those those scenes, I'm just like, you know, I'll be talking to like teachers and librarians, and like, hey, make sure it, it, my 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 sister <laughs> my sister bought Volume One for her kids, and I'm just like, whoa, 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 whoa hold on now, make sure <laughs> make sure you read that just in case. <laughs> I I don't want you to call me later, like what, you know? Just make sure. <laughs> And then I know in Volume Four there's like a scene kind of like that, but it, it, again I'm more cognizant of it, so it's a little bit more censored, but it's still it's still there. But uh, that's that. And um, outside of that, <clears throat> outside of that though, unless you guys have anything more to add, I think we've covered everything we can cover for this first the first episode of Saturday FM coming back. FM could mean whatever you want it to mean. Founders meeting, full metal, whatever you want. And then we call it. Make sure you guys like the video. Like the damn video. And subscribe. Subscribe. Leave a comment. Leave a comment. Subscribe. And, you know, all the that more, jazz. The more, the more we get out of this video and this series, the more we're going to do. The, the bigger the podcast will become. And then you guys make sure you check out everybody's volume. This, the, the Saturday annual that's coming out. Uh, Hammer, Apple Black. And all our other series, the ones we've mentioned, some of the people who are uh, Summer of Manga alumni. And if you go to saturday-am.com slash graphic novels, or you just go to the navigation bar, hit on graphic novels, you can see everything we offer. The how to draw books, more more books are coming. So all kinds of support with the books in this video, especially for these videos. If you want more podcasts like this, want us to cover more topics, maybe we'll transition to live stream, take more questions and like uh, go deep dive and kind of grow what we have here but thank you guys for watching and uh you know hopefully this is successful we'll do more i enjoyed it uh, if you guys have any last words and then we'll we'll, we'll 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 close yeah this was really fun uh you know just like white said please you know leave a comment so that way we know what you guys want to hear from us as well uh that would be great but this was very fun um you guys should watch One Piece. I do get five percent commission on that. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us what you guys want to hear us talk about, and uh, like I said, we can. You know, it'd be awesome if we can do this live one of these days and have you guys. Uh, you know, be with us and and chime in and make comments and uh, you know and sign up to watch One Piece so Jake can yeah. get paid. So. Yep. That's it. I don't get it. I wish I did. <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 he gets he, paid in his soul. Okay, not monetary. You, the video does millions of views. Everybody getting paid. So let's 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 see if we can make I don't know a, a, a top tier product and go from there. But thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you check out Saturday AM. Subscribe to the channel. Like the video. Comments. All of that. You know, super chats. Whatever the case may be. Supers. Whatever the case may be. And we're out. <laughs>